of fighters. Not guilty. first, fighting out of the red corner, representing XL Freedom Fighters, Brad Carter. And his opponent standing across the cage. This man is making his debut, fighting out of the blue corner, representing ASW Hands. So moving swiftly on to the second contest of the evening, we have the debutant Monchil Kolev, who, judging by that uh, rupturous uh, applause, has brought quite a gathering with him tonight. As he takes, he needs it. <laughs> as he takes on Brad Carter, a man who's been around for what seems like, well, forever. Um, he's, uh, he's very capable, capable of causing a shot. Humps the takedown, Monchil just. Seems the stronger of the two at the moment. Colleague went ch charging in there like a bull, and uh, I'm guessing he's got Carter exactly where he wants it. Uh, yeah. We saw the wrestling uh, logo on his t shirt, you know. Um, yeah, Carter looking to underhook. He's uh, just trying to stay up at the minute. Monta with a huge slam. Belly to belly suplex. He's now posturing up. Carter looking to tie him up. He's teeing up. Doing what he's trying to do, what he can, Carter off the bottom, as you said. But Monchil is uh, relentless. Transition to needs the back to watch there. the back of the head. We let Carter roll um, out of danger, straight into more danger. You know, he needs to be careful to give up the mount, which he's now done. Monchil proved he's got heavy, heavy hands so far. Carter looking to sneak out the back door here as uh, Colliff looks for an arm. Yeah, Collif could be stepping over for that armbar there, but Carter's kind of put the brakes on yeah, he's and uh, taking away the momentum. He's got himself into a good position here. He's tied up the arm, looking to sort of sneak out the back. Needs to be careful here. He's going to give up the arm. Collif just trying to soften him up. Again, he's being warned for the back of the head. And he's going to get stopped just momentarily. As I said, he needed to watch it. The referee's equal to it, and he's just... Uh, Give Carter a moment. Carter he did warn him, though. The back of the head. He, he did warn him. And, that, you know. and we mentioned it. I mean, Kolev, yeah. don't think there is a language barrier, but as I said, just needs to be clear on that. Now, Carter has potentially five minutes here. He's saying he's okay, and he, and he walks straight out. He's as so, tough as they come, he's Carter. <laughs> yeah. And he'll meet him in the middle. I just so, want to see him maybe throw a few... Carter's not out yet. No, but huge, huge head kick from Kolev. Kolev steps over into that three-quarter mount there, but he's happy. He's and got I don't Carter think, pinned. Yeah, I don't think Carter's head's cleared. He's going to stop it, and it's finished. And I think Simon Stadnicki, our referee, has done Brad a favour there. He, he, he got dropped with a good head kick. Doesn't seem to have... Uh, his head to have cleared. He, he's back up to his feet OK, but a very, very... A uh, promising debut from Monchil Kolev, as you'll see out of the ASW Hemsworth gym under head coach, UFC fighter Scott Askham. He looks a uh, dangerous man, does Kolev, and he just put his name out there, that head kick. I mean, it, was qu it wasn't quite the head, it was the top of the neck, and sometimes that's more dangerous. Um, Beautiful how he whipped it out, though. He yeah. threw the strike and uh, then the kick behind it. So, Kolev successful in his debut. Great. Great performance and uh, unfortunate for Carter that he never got going, but props to Kolev as we said. We will pass it over, however, to our MC to make the decision official. Ladies and gentlemen, your appreciation for our fighters, please. Conclusion, one minute 56 into rounds number one for your winner by TKO in the blue corner, Montiel Collins. And your appreciation, please, for Brad Carter.